The Chase Sapphire Reserve is the best travel card with a lucrative statement credit, big sign-up bonus, an amazing rewards program packed with different airline and hotel partners. But is it still worth the hype? Find out by watching this video. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We compile the latest business world news for you to keep up to date with. Our videos are guaranteed to keep you coming back for more insightful and amazing content. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you're always up to date with our latest videos as soon as they're uploaded. And so without further ado, let's start with today's video. As we know, the Chase Sapphire Reserve Card is probably one of the most popular premium credit cards out there. Since the credit card was introduced about five years ago, it's been a no-brainer for many. But a lot has changed, both in absolute and relative terms. The card's annual fee has increased. The coronavirus pandemic changed a lot of consumer behavior, and we recently saw significant changes to both Sapphire cards. The Chase Sapphire Reserve has proven to be the best for frequent travelers looking for a premium card, which offers easy-to-use benefits, valuable points, and an excellent ongoing return on travel spending. More casual travelers, or those mainly interested in earning points for travel, should take a closer look at its $95 yearly fee counterpart, the Chase Sapphire Preferred Card. Right now, the Chase Sapphire Reserve Welcome Offer is worth around $750 in travel, as your points are worth about one and a half cents each when earned through Chase Travel. You can even transfer them to any of the 10 plus hotel and airline Chase Ultimate Rewards transfer partners. Moreover, the value you get from the bonus points will mainly depend on how you redeem them, though it is estimated that you can earn an average of two cents per point by transferring to partners. Also, the welcome offer is close to that of the Amex Gold card, a card that comes with a lower annual fee. The Platinum card from Amex currently offers a much more valuable welcome offer, but the yearly fee, as well as a minimum spend requirement, are both higher. One of the main features of Chase Ultimate Rewards is the flexibility you have when getting your points. Users can cash them out, use them to book travel, gift cards, or transfer them to any of Chase's transfer partners. Though the best Ultimate Rewards redemption options are travel bookings and transfers to partners. When transferring Ultimate Rewards points to airline and hotel partners usually provides the highest value for your points. It's been estimated that the average value for transfers to be two cents on each point, though some partners are better than others. For example, you get a high return on points with most airline programs, including United and Southwest, and the world of Hyatt, but you'll lose value on most transfers to IHG Rewards Club and Marriott Bonvoy. In August 2021, Chase, the card company, announced more bonus categories that make the card more attractive for spending on travel as well as dining. The 10x total points on car rentals and hotel stays purchased through Chase Ultimate Rewards. Also, you will earn 10x total points on car rentals and hotel stays purchased through Chase Ultimate Rewards. That is one of the highest rates you will find. That's up from the prior earnings rate of just 3x points. This means $1,000 spent on hotels would earn you 10,000 points, which you can turn around and avail for $150 on travel in the Chase Ultimate Rewards portal. That is because points earned on the Chase Sapphire Reserve are worth almost one and a half cents each toward travel redemptions through the portal. You can even transfer those points to one of the Chase transfer partners, including United Airlines and Hyatt, as well as for a potentially even higher return. A 15% return or even more in the form of Chase Ultimate Rewards points from your travel spending is a pretty sweet deal. You'll also earn 10x points with a 15% return on Chase Dining purchases through Ultimate Rewards. Moreover, the Chase Dining is a program where you can book reservations at the participating restaurants. The restaurants are usually pretty upscale, so it's not likely the spot to come for a sweet deal on food. Though most of the restaurants are a bit pricey, you can expect to see names such as The French Laundry in California or New York's Per Se up for grabs. And you'll most likely earn a pretty pile of points, especially given the high 10x points return. You will then earn 5x total points on air travel purchased through Ultimate Rewards, up from just 3x previously. This card is one of the best you can use for booking flights. 
A $1,000 spent on air travel translates to 5,000 points worth $75 when redeemed for travel through the Chase Ultimate Rewards portal. The 7.5% return on airfare in the form of Chase Ultimate Rewards points is among the best you will find. The existing Chase Sapphire Reserve card holders already have access to Priority Pass Lounges, which is a network of almost 1,300 airport lounges, which serve free snacks or meals, power outlets, along with a calmer ambiance than your standard terminal. Furthermore, the number of lounges you can access will soon grow. Chase has even announced the location of three new lounges that are set to open this year, all of which will be accessed on the Priority Pass network. Dubbed Chase Sapphire Lounge by the club, lounges will be located in New York's LaGuardia Airport, Hong Kong International Airport, and Boston Logan International Airport. Chase stated that the exact opening dates and future lounge locations would be announced later. So, is the Chase Sapphire card fee worth it? The Chase Sapphire Reserve's $550 yearly fee puts a solid dent in your wallet. For this fee to be worth it, you'll need to use most or all of the card's perks. For the initial year, the card easily justifies its cost. Once you add in the $300 yearly travel credit and a $100 reimbursement for a global entry membership, you're already getting over $1,100 in value, more than twice the annual fee. The sign-up bonus is worth $750 towards travel. After that first year, it's not quite so clear-cut. The $300 travel credit brings the credit card's cost down to $250 per year after the yearly fee. If you avail 17,000 Ultimate Rewards points, those will be worth more than the yearly fee. Here's a simple way to look at it. If you want to use the Chase Sapphire Reserve for your expenses, its value will likely outweigh the yearly fee. If you're going to use multiple top credit cards, you'll need to do the math to see if the yearly fee makes sense. However, it's not worth it if you carry a credit card balance interest charges will always cost you more than any card points you earn. And to come out ahead with the Chase Sapphire Reserve, you need to consistently pay off your full balance so you don't get charged any interest. You're on a tight budget. The Chase card can be worth the yearly fee. However, it's still a sizable one at $550 a year. If you're trying not to spend too much, then you're better off with a more affordable card. You don't often travel. Many of these cards' benefits are travel-related. It only makes sense for card users to travel multiple times per year and are sure to use the $300 yearly travel credit. So in conclusion, the Chase Sapphire Reserve is an incredible, well-rounded travel rewards card that has maintained its value well. Not only that, but having a card redeeming ultimate rewards points is still very much worth it. That's especially true given that it opens up value with four fantastic no annual fee cards, the Chase Freedom Flex, Chase Freedom Unlimited, Inc. Business Unlimited, and Inc. Business Cash. With its $300 yearly travel credit, excellent travel insurance protections, and complimentary Priority Pass Select membership, as well as the ability to earn and avail lots of valuable Ultimate Rewards points, the Chase Sapphire Reserve is worth its $550 yearly fee. Well guys, that's all we have for you today. What are your thoughts on this? Get involved and let us know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's episode and found it interesting, then make sure to leave us a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to be kept up to date with the most exciting content as soon as it's uploaded. Thanks for watching. See you again soon in another video.